Goddess House, everybody doing today? Today is Thursday, January 3rd, 2019, and it is almost 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How is everybody doing in the chat room tonight? I hope you all are well and happy. So let's see, who is in the chat room? Spanky gets the gold star for being first in the chat room. And then Mr. Nightbot, as always. Who else came in? Spanky is making buttered noodles. I had pork chops. Uh, Mindy is here. Hello, Mindy. And Bunny Santa Maria is here. How are you? Zoe Crafts is here. And Sandra's Beaded Path is here. And there's Debbie. How are you? So Zoe had some excitement. I'm not going to relay it over the um, over the uh, the interwebs, but uh, congratulations, Zoe! I hope it was awesome. So I hope you all have been having a good week. Uh, it's the first week of 19, uh, 20, yeah, 19, 2019. Um, let's see what was exciting here. We had four huge trees taken down. Um, I still have to get the videos off my phone and, and look at those. Um, let's see. Next Tuesday, we are having the space. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat that, Zoe. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Get that thought out of my mind. Okay. Um, so next Tuesday morning, we're having the area between our spring head and our spring house dug up. They're going to be replacing the pipe. Um, I will try and get some video of that and um, what else is going on. Oh, and then Wednesday I am going out with little Kyler Roten. Uh, one of, they have a family friend whose cat had kittens and um, there's several to choose from. So uh, little Kyler and I are going on over there to um, to see uh, to see if any of the kittens and I connect. So I'm very excited that um, I might be getting a kitten soon. So that's going to be interesting. So uh, let's see what strange activities have been going on here in Ash County. Um, yesterday afternoon, somebody posted in Ash County in the know that, um, yep, I may be getting a new kitty. Name it Spanky. <laughs> Spanky or squirrel. <laughs> um, uh, somebody reported that a white, a small white pickup truck with a man and a woman and a little girl in the cab and a little boy and a dog in the back of the truck um, showed up at their house screaming, open up, open up. And they were holding um, the little girl up in front of their face so you couldn't see their face. All you could see was the kid's face. Um, so uh, the person did not open up the door and they took off. So um, she called the police and um, yeah, me too, Mindy. I, I miss having a kitty cat. Hello, squirrel, how are you? <laughs> Um, so they reported that and then let's see, what else did I hear? Hi, Cheryl. Happy new year. Uh, what else did I hear on the scanner today? Um, somebody had a package stolen off their porch. That's always nice. Um, there was several stolen cars reported. So that was, that was the news from Ash County today. Um, when you talk about doing away with the squirrel up in the attic, we might mistake it for the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I would never do away with your squirrel, Spanky. <laughs> so anyway, so tonight is Thursday, which means it is Creeples. And I'm trying to find a background. I'm feeling um, non-inspired. So I don't know if I want to do a background. I, I hate just doing a, um, a a pale white background. Maybe, maybe I'll paint something uh, and I'll cut out some furniture or something and we can we can play with that. I do have some pretty tissue paper over here that we could use, um, some deli sheets that, that I did cut up or that I did make the other night when we were working on the altered book. So 
So I have some of those. Maybe we could do a nice background with one of those or more of those. And I finally found the other illustration. Uh, yeah, the illustrated magazine, the duplicate for my altered book. So let me switch to the overhead. Uh oh, there's Mark. How you unliked your New Year's Eve concert? I loved it. I loved it, Mark. You have a beautiful voice. <laughs> I turned away to grab some paper. I'm sorry, Mark. I didn't see you come in. I'll switch to the overhead. So these are my crinkled deli sheets. And I just think that these are absolutely luscious. They are, oh God, they're yummy. And here's one that was uh, darker colors. And I absolutely love these. Hello, Mary Hill, how are you? Of course I'll have a show and tell. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at them. They are just divine. Here's what's left of the blue one. So maybe we could do um, strips of this in the background. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll, maybe what I'll do is I'll paint it when, with black gesso. And yeah, I like the green one too. Um, and I think maybe what I'll do is I'll do a show of this. Uh, maybe I'll pull out the jelly plate. Isn't, aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. They're really, really yummy. And they're so soft. I love the sound they make. So maybe um, tomorrow night on Cranky Crafters, I'm going to be, I got this cute little box with a, oh, that was loud. I, I yes, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. Just left the station without me. Hello, Atenal. How are you? Um, yes, tomorrow night on Cranky Crafters, I'm going to be making an altered box. I got a new, um, a new headphone cable that is longer, so I'm not constantly, um, you know, pulling the, the headphones off my head during Cranky Crafters. And it came in this cute little box. This really cute little Amazon box. And I thought it would be fun to alter that. So that's what I'm going to be doing on Cranky Crafters tomorrow night. Uh, I'll cover it with some scrapbooking papers. Um, and maybe, I don't know, buttons and die cuts and things. And I don't know what I'm putting in the box. I'll line the box. I'll put something else in the box. And then maybe, we'll, maybe I'll give it away some night, some week. Who knows? Or I'll find some little treasures to keep in it. I'm wondering if I should keep this here. It says mail to mail. Mark might like that. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's paint. Let's paint this page with some black gesso. And I'm gonna grab some deli paper to protect. the back and the front so we don't make a mess elsewhere in the book and I have got to fix my cuticle I have a torn cuticle uh, you have a question since I gave away my winning away on Tuesday am I still yes yes you are yes you are spanky uh, spanky squirrel and thank you ever so much for being uh, so sweet. Um, as soon as as soon as I saw Mark's name come up, I knew exactly what I had to draw in the back of his book. And uh, you all saw that. That went out in the mail. Let's see if I can show you a picture of it in case you have not seen it. Hang on one second. Let me find the image and I will show it to you. Yes, I'm sick of seeing this notification. You can stop doing it now, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. There, there he is. That, there is Spudley the chicken. 
and I, I painted that on, uh, or I drew that on the back of um, Mark's uh, comp composition notebook that he won on Tuesday. So I thought that was fun. And I've been trying very hard. <laughs> you like that chicken? Um, hello, Emily. How are you, sweetheart? Happy New Year. Yeah, I love Spudley, too. I hope Mark likes him. He should get him, I guess, maybe by Saturday. Tomorrow or Saturday. So, um, ha uh, Happy New Year, Emily. I hope you've been doing well. Um, what was I... I, I, again, my train of thought has left the station, people. Uh, my brain is like oatmeal today. All right, stay put. You've been real busy? Well, busy is good. Busy is good. Oh, you'll be happy to know. I, I might be getting a kitty real soon, Emily. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for, for loving Spudley. So, yeah, I'll be I'll be getting a kitty soon. I'm not sure if it's going to be one of the little black and white ones that I'm going to see on Wednesday or um, if I'm going to find another one. But I have been wanting a kitty for a while, and I'm thinking maybe, maybe a kitty could be Rosie's friend. And make her a little bit less anxious. So we'll see. Hello, Kathleen. How are you? If I haven't said it before, Happy New Year. All right, so let's paint this black and see how far we get. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put strips of these pretty deli sheets that I made um, down, you know, in stripes, I guess. And maybe we'll go for like a boudoir scene. So maybe I'll go over this with like a really dark purple or something to give it an, and then maybe some gold um, stenciling. Oh, you're having another auction already. Okay. I still haven't had one. I don't have I got to I have to I have to make some things. I want to get back into um I want to get back into acrylic pouring, but I without running water I can't do it. So, that's going to have to wait until spring until I get the water turned back on in here. Oh, that's loud. Oh my. All righty. What happened to Kathleen? Oh, hello, Mary, my love. How are you? Let's see, what happened with Kathleen? I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read through this, through my cord here. Who passed on the first Spanky? I'm, uh, Kathleen, I'm so very sorry. Oh, I'm so very sorry, Kathleen. Squirrel's just cutting all his tags. Yeah, I got to do mine. I got to do mine. We have to do a tag, a postcard, and an ATC. Is that is that correct, Spanky? Because Spanky's having a challenge to celebrate her 
500th sub subby. Oh my God, Kathleen, I am so sorry. Was he ill? Oh, Kathleen, my heart's breaking for you. I'm so sorry. Um, folks, please keep, please keep Kathleen. Shoot, now I'm crying. Um, please keep Kathleen Elliot in your hearts and in your prayers, please. Um, she lost her husband on, on, uh, New Year's Day. Oh, Kathleen, I'm so sorry. I am so very, very sorry. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry, Kathleen. That's, that's all I can say. I'm, my heart's breaking for you. That is rough. Oh boy. He's not suffering anymore. That's true. That's very, very true. That's about the only thing you can really be thankful for is that his suffering has ended. Okay, there goes my sinuses. I was talking to my friend Linda um, last night on the phone. And she was saying that um, there used to be a, a pretty famous... Um, there used to be a pretty famous railroad here called the Virginia Creeper. And uh, it ran from... Uh, West Jefferson to, I think it was Abington, North Carolina. I mean, Abington, Virginia or Bristol, Virginia. Um, I don't remember the exact details of it, but it used to run right through here. And uh, there was a video being produced, a documentary on the, um, uh, on the railroad. And the producer or the, the yeah, I guess the producer of the video had interviewed Fairley, uh, my dear sweet friend Fairley, for two hours um, for, the, for the film because he grew up. Um, his house was, you know, just down the hill from the, the railroad. And when he was a kid, he and his brothers used to hear the train coming and they would run up to the tracks and the conductor would toss out candy to them. So, you know, it was a big deal. Um, and uh, the producer found out that Fairley had died. And hi, Susan. How are you? Hi, PJ. Hi, Carrie. Um... So the producer found out that Fairley died and he made a copy of the two hour interview and gave it to um, my friend Linda for Christmas. And they played it at their house down in Wilkes. Hi, Kiki. Um, while they were, you know, busy making dinner and everything. Um, and they said it was almost like having Fairly there for Christmas. So um, I thought that was real sweet. She said that was the sweetest present she's ever gotten. So, but I started crying, talking to Linda about it. And she said, do you have a cold? I said, no, I've been crying my eyes out. So, uh, and now I'm crying again. I'm so sorry, Kathleen. Um, I will keep you in my heart and in my prayers. And if you ever need a shoulder to cry on or somebody to just rant to, you can always contact me on Facebook. 
Oh man. All right. Now I got to find a paper towel to blow my nose because it is running down my face and I'm not doing the ugly cry on the intertubes. So hang on while I try and clean this a wee bit. And let me get a tissue or a paper towel because I don't, don't have a box of tissues over here. Oh, excuse me, people. Excuse me. Oh, congratulations, Kiki. Oh, now I'm going to start crying again. Oh, no. Here we go. I'm not going to be able to breathe for a week. Today was Kiki's very last day of chemo. So congratulations, sweetheart. I'm just, I'm so happy for you, Kiki. I love you, sweetheart, and happy new year, and congratulations on making it through chemo. Hopefully the radiation will go real quick for you, and you will be back in action soon. So you rest up, love. You rest up. All right, so... I have this luscious, uh, what they call, let's see, Blue Noir Iridescent. It's iridescent blue-black. And I think that might look kind of nice on here. It might look quite boudoirish, I would say. Let's find a credit card. Because, you know, I don't like no stinking brushes. And maybe we'll mix a wee bit of red in there too. Next Friday you meet with the radiation doctor. All right, sweetheart. Hello, Jan. How are you, sweetheart? Hopefully I've seen everybody that's, that uh, came in. If not, I apologize. Oh, that was a mess. Hopefully I don't have a big bead of paint stuck on the other side. Yep, I do. Let's see if we can't scrape it off. Oh, yuck. What a mess. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on here with that little spot, but it's driving me nuts. All right. Oh, that's the problem. Let's move that dum dum. That, that's that's a more better. Let's see if we can take maybe some, maybe some of, I don't know, this or, no, not that. All right, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to try some of this going upwards I 
Oh yeah, that's working. Oh yeah, that works. Come up. Bugger. Have that go up from the bottom and let them mix and interact halfway up the wall. Hey Linda, how are you? Hello Shelly, how are you? If I haven't said it before, Happy New Year. Oh, Cheryl's all comfy in bed. Creeples by bed light. I guess that means I have to do a boudoir scene now, huh? Let's see. I'm just trying, kind of trying to mix the two. Okay. Okay. Not sure why. There. So I found out that a new donut shop opened up not too far from here. So yeah, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Okay, now I have to find a sponge. And I have to find I want I would like a darker gold. Do I have a darker gold? Maybe I'll use copper. Right, maybe. What color is that? It's about the same color. What color is that? I'm digging here. That is burnt sienna. I don't want burnt sienna. Okay. What is, what is Spanky thinking about? I am missing the jokes here in the... You got your Spanky tag almost done? I'm going to do a tag, an ATC, and a postcard uh, for Spanky's challenge. What am I looking for? My brain is not functioning. I need... Oh, here, here. <laughs> I know what. I'm going to try and dry this off a wee bit. Achiever, that's right, that's me, Linda.
Okay, Debbie. Debbie is busy doing some hand sewing while she's watching. Um, I don't know. Let's wait for Spanky to respond. Um, I know that there was a tag and a postcard, and I think there was an ATC. You can do one or three. Yes, that's that was the plan. I was going to be an overachiever and do one of each. Draw enough. I'm going to cut me a piece of sponge that I can use, and I have to find me a stencil. I still have to hang up some hooks on my wall to hang all my stencils from. Oh, here we go. We're losing some of these stupid letters again. Dag, nab it, grab it. I don't care where you stick, just stick, thank you. Thank you kindly. I just don't know where to go with you. If I take you out of the box, you're gonna disappear. Okay, let's find some stencils, shall we? Here are some stencils. Um, no, I know what stencil I'm looking for. It's one of his. It's one of Mr. Holtz's. Let's see if we can find the little bugger. Alright, I don't see it there. Let's keep on looking. I think I know where it is. I think it's in that in a cabinet up in New York that I did not empty out. Because, yeah, I forgot. Alright, it would have been perfect for a boudoir scene, too. Oh, well. Let's see. Can I do that? Well, that one's kind of Oh, maybe we can use this one. Okay. Oh, who just came in? Uh, hello, Ina. Who came in? Did I miss somebody? Let me see. Linda, Squirrel, Jan, Mary, Linda, Cheryl, Mary, Cheryl, Cheryl, Sandra. I don't see an Ina. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Thanks for joining us. I am trying to make a, um, a boudoir background. Hello, Ginger. How are you? I guess this would make interesting wallpaper, huh?
Okay, I guess I'm caught up. I don't see an Ina, but if an Ina came in, hello, Ina, how are you? <clears throat> All right, let's do a wee bit of this. Hello, Malia, how are you? Isn't that stencil great? You're taking tag, tag bags apart to stamp and sew? Oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. All right, so I'm not sure how far down I'm going to go. And I'm wondering, maybe the copper is the wrong color. Maybe I should try a silver? I have silver. I don't seem to have a real dark gold. Let me continue digging here. The silver will work. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I have royal gold. That might work. Royal gold. And this is bronze. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bronze. Okay. For your 500 sub giveaway, you can enter three times by sending you a postcard, a tag, and ATC. One of each, or two, or three. Okay. I have got to get rid of these cables that are hanging down here. I can't see nothing through them. Alrighty. Jan got the memo. There you go. All right. I don't want it to be a real heavy application. I got this from joggles.com. Oh, yeah, so I was talking about the donut place. Yeah, I'm in trouble. <clears throat> they make uh, old-fashioned apple fritters, and then they make yeast donuts. I'm a, a fan of the cake donut myself, not so much the yeast donuts, but I'll definitely try one of them there, apple fritters. And they are only open from 7 a.m. until they sell out. And apparently they're selling out very early. <clears throat> you need a big swirly one like that for mixed media? I do like my, uh, my stencils. Okay, time to put... And I'm going for, like I said, a light application. I don't want this to take over everything. I want it to be kind of subtle. But, you know, me and subtle. I don't know the meaning of the word, sorry. Sorry. 
They sold, yeah, $7 for half a dozen. Well, these are, I think, $11 for a dozen for the plain ones. Um, but they're, one of them, um, if you wanted a dozen of the apple fritters, it's like $27. So, yeah. <laughs> And it, I'm only one person, so how many how many fritters do I need? They're like two dollars and seventy cents a piece or something. So I might might go get like four. Okay, my arm is getting tired. Pounds, pounds, pounds. I'll have to uh, start wearing hoodies again, especially the zip up front, the zip up, up the front kind. Um, my kitty cat Trouble. Um, he used to love to cuddle up inside my hoodies. And I used to carry him like a little baby. He loved that. All right, let's see. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Let's see if we can't. You can freeze the fritters in separate baggies and toast them, defrost them later. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. So yeah, that's that's a good idea. All right, now we can move on to this page, and I think that's the easiest way of doing this. I have paint over here. I'll just keep going over this away. <clears throat> Hello, Nancy. How are you? move this over Cheryl worked in her glue book today. That's good. I should really do a glue book or a volume of them. It would certainly help me get rid of all this excess paper scrappage I've got all over the place, right? Now, what do you do in a glue book? Do you just kind of find like like items and glue them down in a page? Like all chickens on one page and all um, cupcakes on another? Or what do you do with them? Not sure what you do to them. doing one 
where each page is a different color. Oh, okay. So all different pictures and stuff that you've cut out that all seem to fit one color. That's a good idea. Come on now. Glurus Choice. Okay. I didn't know if it was like one of Mary's, uh, you know, Mary Abrams, uh, if it was one of um, like her en masse um, journals. All right. I was really looking for a smaller pattern but I didn't find one. Meet my chickens book, yeah. <laughs> I have to acquire some more chickens, uh, chicken catalogs and stuff like that. I'm thinking that that's probably enough, but I do have some extra. I have some extra paint left. I got this stencil on joggles.com. Um, it's usually okay. It is a joggles.com uh, stencil and I have the number it is 20-33744 let's see if you can read that 20 Three three seven four four. There you go. Okay, so that's been on the screen long enough. It's from their twenty fourteen collection, but I believe it is still quite popular. So you should have no troubles finding it. Yes, jungle, Joggles is a dangerous place. Yes, it is. Yes, sorry, Bob. But I do. Oh, and I actually put that on the back. Oh, well. It is quite pretty. I do like it. All right, so that has been stenciled. And no, I'm not washing off my stencil. Putting it right back in its little baggie. You've never shopped there? Oh, your wallet will certainly be thankful. This, this stencil is kind of difficult to get back in the envelope. That's why I gotta get my hooks up on the wall so I can hang them. Uh, come on, come on, there you go, there you go. Keep, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Come on, you can do it. Hi, Melon, how are you, darling? They have, they have really good prices on stencils, uh, especially if they're having a sale. And I've also gotten, um, I've also gotten the, um, what do you call it? My acrylic sprays. 
You work to live a juggle. Yes. <laughs> Hello, CJ. How are you, love? All right. So that is going to be kind of our uh, boudoir background. I don't know if we need to find some curtains or something to hang up in front of a window or something. Um... Oh, dearie, dearie. We were going to use these. Joggles is one of the few places you've been able to find stickles recently. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, jo yeah uh, Barbara from Joggles is on YouTube. Yeah. All right, so now... How am I going to use these? Do I just make a background? I mean, I don't know. Do I make a curtains out of these? I, I don't know what to do with them. And these are my deli sheets, Melon. Um, I'm going to do an episode, maybe next Tuesday I'll do an episode on, on deli sheets. I'll get out the old jelly plate and we'll make some deli sheets because I do love these. Um, yeah, now you want a donut. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. I have some furniture here that I can use. I can cut out. We have a boudoir. So we have a bedroom there. We have a chair and table. And this is Charleston, um, Charleston Forge. And they're the ones that are in Boone around the corner from Cheap Joe's. And um, little Miss Maya, Maya Roten, she works with her grandma, and her grandma makes all these upholstered pieces of furniture. These things are just amazing. Here's another bed. I think we have, we already have a bed. Hello there, T. How are you? Happy New Year. Let's see. You had coconut cream pie for dinner? There you go. Okay, I'm looking so far. I'm not finding anything. I'm looking for... I'm probably not going to find a nice big window that I can cut out here. There's one in the background. that table in there with the no that won't work I'll have to look in another catalog for windows you just found that stencil on sale for $4.89 there you go guys tell them Melissa sent you gotta get a sponsor mama B's going broke <sighs> I need it. I need things that are not in front of other things. There's a window. I could cut that window out. Most certainly can. Uh oh, Jan's hungry. 
All right, so let's cut out this here. Let's cut out this here. Winder. There's a winder. And we could put that winder up over here like that. Yeah, we need to get my subby yeah, my subby numbers up too. Yes, siree. Because remember, when I hit 2,000, hi Nancy, how are you, sweetheart? When I hit 2,000, I'll be giving away two prizes a week. Now see, that'll show through. So we can just kind of do like a, a, a drapery thing here. So let's see, we can go to about the center okay and we can go down about go down about like like yay, I guess. I'm guessing. I have the hiccups. Oh, good, Mary. Mary only needs 22 more people to hit 600. Very, very cool. All right. So I think I'm going to kind of pleat this. Right. Let's do We can glue that down. And I will cut. I will cut. It into. Pleats. Just put tiny little pleats. Oh, you're 75 away from 300. That's good, Sandra. Very, very good. All right, so there. Now we have some pleats. And we will gather this and just make it a wee bit fuller. All right, let's let's get serious here. And I'm just going to cut that off and I'm going to Stack it and make it fuller. Stack it and make it fuller. Oh, wow, Susan, you didn't even spend 18 bucks. That's good. Oh, 
I bought some um, embossing folders from AliExpress. I think I only paid like $27. I, I think I ordered like 14 of them or something. There we go. See, now that looks like it's gathered. So I'm liking that. I am liking that. I think maybe I'll do a wee bit more of the gathering. There. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. Yeah, I love AliExpress. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay. All right, and let's see if I have a little something something in here that I can use. As a curtain tie. Oh, that would work. No, no. I've changed my mind. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of ribbon. Yeah, I could use a piece of that. Okay, come on. Sneak back in there, please. Thank you. I have a wee bit of ribbon we can use. Am I making a curtain? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making like a bedroom scene for a creeple. For creeples. <clears throat> Why did I make the curtains? Because I'm making a bedroom scene. I have some furniture here that I'm going to cut out, and uh, a bed, a bed, a bed, <coughs> table, chairs. I'm going to cut those things out, and we're going to make a bedroom scene for the creeples. Let's see. Let's do something like like that. Let's. you're sending me a message on facebook don't read it aloud you can look when you're offline with the live i will spanky thank you sweetheart That's too thick. You got it, Spanky. I'll address your um, request after the show, love. I will certainly, certainly do that. Of course I will. All right. Does that look like a tie back? I don't know. I mean, it's a creeple for heaven's sakes. The background doesn't really matter, doesn't it? How did I make the curtains? I'll show you, sweetheart. Um, I'm using a piece of my deli sheet and I found this window in a catalog. So I'm gonna put that there and it's gonna help bring light in. And then I tore off a piece of deli sheet that was wide enough to be um, wide enough to cover the curtain. And then I cut this part and I used this section to make some pleats. 
and I'm just going to hang the pleats like this to make it look like it was gathered and pulled aside. And I'm going to use, I guess, a little piece of this ribbon to pull it aside. So that's my plan. We'll see if it works. It may not. It may fail miserably, but we will see. So I use, use a little tacky glue here and... Uh, Oh, I know, I could glue a gem right there. That would work. That will work, huh? Right, it must be special creeple to get, <laughs> to get a window and curtains, for heaven's sakes. What am I doing? All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue down this here window. This here window. And get that glued down, anyway, and then... We will finish on the curtain. Alrighty. New Year, new creeples. There you go. Alright, so I'm putting that there, Winder. Right there in the corner. Okay, and I am going to glue this down on here like that and glue this You just went through the list here and you found several that I had not subscribed. Well, get subbing, girl. I do not mind that at all. If you are if you have a channel and you're looking for subs, for heaven's sakes, let us know. Don't spam the chat room, please, but you can mention that you're looking for subs or that you'd like to swap subs. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, however, um, if, the, if the YouTubes are listening, Asking people to swap subs, sub for sub, is, is a no-no. Um, and they, they, they consider that a spam sub and not a legit sub. So, you know, they keep moving the damn carrot, don't they? Okay. There, that is glued. Sort of. I know. Where's my little stapler? There it is. Let's just staple the little buggers together. Oh, hold on. There. Oh, now I got a mess. Where's my little paper towel? Oh. So yeah, I, I lost subs, you know, if the, if the account was like no longer active, they deleted it from my, from my list. So that kind of ticked me off. Like I said, the YouTubes does like to keep moving that stupid carrot. All right. I'm thinking that that's where it's going to go. I didn't I didn't lose a lot of subbies. I mean I think I lost like 6 after they got done removing the what they called spam or account, accounts that don't count. They keep changing their algorithm, so it's like chasing your own tail. You can never catch it. Very annoying. You know, and then they want to know, do you think that it, you have value here? Do you, um, do you think YouTube is helping promote your channel? And 
you know, get you subbies and, you know, I'm not going to get into a rant here. <laughs> Jeez. Did I lick the screen? No, I did not lick the screen. <laughs> Oh, Malia is now streaming on Wednesday, Wednesday nights at 7.30. That's cool. I will try and next Wednesday I won't be able to do it because I'm going to go to church with the Rotens. All right, so there, the curtain is down. I can trim that off later. So it doesn't look too bad. And if I leave this edge loose, it throws a little bit of a shadow, which I think is kind of cool. I do, I do, I do. Not me? Okay. She dropped jelly on you. Oh, and the creeple. <laughs> Maybe Tuesday night we will do jelly plate. Deli, de, de, deli plate gel, uh, jelly plate with deli sheets. Deli jelly. All right, so that has been glued down. We're not done yet. No siri Bob. All right, let's see. Here we go. That will work. Them it will work. You've been loving your jelly plate a lot. Sanjay found me the one that PJ made me, PJ and Carrie. All right, so let's do tacky glue because. I know those things won't hold. All right, so I'm going to do one of the purple ones. That's loud. Right there in the middle. And then some smaller... pink ones like that okay that's how I live my life Malia I wing it I fly by the seat of my pants. All right, so there. Now we've got uh, now we've got this little here curtain thingy with some bling on it. And that's part of our scene here. Let's get rid of this here deli sheets. These and, and um, uh, Cindy had asked before, was it Cindy or Kathy was asking why I made the curtain? Hang on, let me scroll up. Who asked? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Cindy, oh, Cindy Daly. So Cindy was asking about, about um, how I made the curtain. So I'm assuming that maybe she hadn't seen my deli sheets. These were made on deli paper. And I just played with my sprays. And then when I was done, I wrinkled them up into a tight little ball a couple of times. And then I let them dry like that all wrinkled up. So these are soft. They're yummy. I just love them. So I think we'll do that. You throw caution to the wind? Yep, that's me. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this book out of the way and bring the furniture in. And 
and I got a whole box. I love Arteza. I've been buying a lot of their products and I really like them. Um, and I have to put this in, um, I have to put this in my list. But hang on one second and I will get you. <clears throat> I will get you a link for these because I got 120 blades, replacement blades. And I absolutely love Arteza. So let's see. No, that's not. See all six products. Yes, please. There they are. Text. Give me the link. Come on, give me the link. Thank you. Um, these were twelve dollars and forty nine cents for one hundred and twenty blades. These things are <laughs> amazing, and they come in this nice little box. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. 120 replacement blades. So very happy with that. All right. We'll see how far I get with this one. Uh, guess who's going to be experimenting with curry powder and turmeric in her kitchen? <gasps> oh, Susan. Oh, that sounds good. Now, um, I do have to tell you, um, curry powder is like saying marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. Every Italian makes their spaghetti sauce different. Um, so there is no such thing as curry powder there are a bunch of curry masalas and masala means spice blend or spice mix so um there are tons of those so you can get um you can get curries for chicken you can get uh i mean not curries you can get masalas for chicken for eggs for vegetables um just about anything you can think of so you might want to visit um, Patel, patelbrothers.com. Um, let me see what happens if I do a search. I'll get you a link. Patel Bros. There we go. Copy. Paste. All right, so that is to Patel Brothers. They are a nationwide, um, a, they're a nationwide Indian grocer, and they are huge. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and they're all over the place. They're opening now in Niles, Illinois, um, McKinney slash Allen, Texas, Swanee, Georgia. They're, they're all over the place. I love them. I wish we had one here in Boone. I really do. There's, there are no, um, there are no Indian grocers around. There's a couple of Indian restaurants in Boone and they're pretty good. Mint is one of them and their lunch buffet is fantastic. Um, but you can go through their, their items and look through their spices and their masala mixes, and you can see what kind of flavors you're looking for. So I love Patel's. I just wish there was one around me, but there isn't. I do know, I do know that we have at least three Indians that live in Ash County uh, because um, the Days Inn Motel is owned by an Indian family. The Holiday Inn Express is owned by an Indian family. Not sure if it's the same one. Um, and then there's a convenience store in town that is owned by somebody named Patel. Um, and then, of course, there's Sanjay. So that's four. <laughs> we actually saw um, an Indian. Where did we see him? Oh, we at the bank. 
And I, I asked Sanjay, I said, go say hello, go say hello. He said, no. <laughs> so go ask him if he's a Patel. Because <laughs> that's what happened to Sanjay. Um, oh, that's fantastic, Susan. You've got one 15 minutes from your house. There you go. You know, and you know, if you go in there and you ask one of the people um, about which masala to use for the recipe you're intending, um, they'll, they'll help you. Turmeric I use in a lot of cooking because it's very good for the digestion. Um, the, uh, the spiritual believe that turmeric is a purifier. In fact, uh, brides are routinely, um, smeared with turmeric and yogurt uh, before their wedding. Uh, turmeric is called haldi in, uh, in Hindi and it's a purification rite that they go through. We had to smear it all over our nieces. It starts out where you just, you know, you just, you, the, the gingerly people, the, the gentle people will just put a little on the palm of the hand. You know, but then the sister comes along and picks up a fistful of it out of a bowl and smashes it in her face. So, yeah, it turns into a basic food fight, but it's fun. You have an Indian family that owns the convenience store, hardware store in town? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And there's, there's Indians, you know, that live in Boone, too. And, you know, I, I was talking to the guy from, from Mint, from the restaurant. I said, there's still no Indian grocers anywhere? He said, nope, we got to drive two hours to Winston-Salem. There's a, there's a rinky-dink um, Indian grocer in Winston-Salem that we went to in desperation once. But I was I was very dismayed that there was no Indian grocer around. Oh good, check it out. Definitely check it out. There we go. Let's see. Let's cut out. Come on. Yeah, Indian food is really is really good. Um and it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be inferno hot, you know. You can change the level of spice, uh, the level of heat to your tastes. I like heat. I don't like it. I don't like an inferno, uh, but I do like to have spice in the food. It just adds so much depth to the flavor. You want to explore more in your cooking? That's a fantastic thing to do. And you know, I, and I've said this for years, um, people don't understand Indian cooking and they don't understand vegetarian meals either. If you have dal and rice, you have food. You could feed an army on that. And it's not horrible. It's fantastic. There's so much depth of flavor. It's really good. It's, it's filling. It's cheap. Um, and it tastes fantastic. So, you know, don't give it up. You can't have real hot, but your, your hubby likes spice. Yeah. Now, um, 
actually a lot of this a lot of the real spicy food um, or the spice in certain recipes actually comes from ginger not chilies ginger has a lot of heat in it that's why they always recommend um, ginger and or cayenne in you know um, a healing cider Well, that's good, Susan. You know, when when it comes to when it comes to being vegan or uh, vegetarian, Indian is certainly the way to go because they are there's just so much flavor. I remember when I was younger, um, people thought that vegetarian meant steamed vegetables and boiled rice, and that's so 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 not what vegetarianism is it's so much better than that all right so let's see how this chair looks Okay, so I guess, where am I, I'm going to have to glue this chair on top of the curtains here. I'm a guessing, I'm going to have to. So we'll have, I guess we'll have one babe sitting by the window. Yeah, I like spicy, right squirrel? All right, so we got we got one babe that's going to be sitting here by the corner. And now let's cut out the bed. That'll go over here. And maybe we can find a door or something over here. Well, there goes the neighbor again. You have, I have, I have acid reflux too. I have a, a hiatal hernia, um, and I suffer horribly. I've been on a meprazole for, God, probably thirty years or more. You can guarantee you squirrel the can of greens you open. Okay, what's going on now? Open your mouth, fire comes out. Spicy. I like that kind of spicy. Um, the Rotans gave us some um, some hot salt. And it has go there's ghost pepper salt. Carolina Reaper salt and um, one other one. But now Carolina Reaper is supposed to be really, really hot. I haven't opened that one yet. You want that salt, PJ? I will try and find you some and mail, mail it to you. They got it in Pigeon Forge, but I'll see if there's a website. I love I, I love that salt. It's really, really good. Oh, actually, that is not the bottom of the bed. That is... That is the rug. 
That is the rug. There, that's the bottom of the bed. There we go. Pepper seeds, yeah. Green chilies are really good. Those are the ones that I use the most in, in my Indian cooking is the, the small green chilies that you get at, uh, at Patel's. All right. Okay, there's the bed. There is the bed. I love green chilies. Oh, I love those. And oak. If you really want to add a really awesome flavor to your um, your Indian cooking, I mean, even dal and rice, get curry leaves. There is a plant. It's a tropical plant, and it can't heat. It can't handle any kind of cold because I have tried repeatedly to um, to grow the plant, and I haven't been successful. But there is a curry plant, and you can. Um, you can, what do you call it, um, get those leaves. Um, I've been looking for dried because the fresh, you know, they, they get they get old uh, after a while. So Sanjay actually found me some dried curry leaves. So you can, uh, you can get those, you can get some fresh ones and those are sold over by um, those are sold over by the um, the cilantro. Yeah, you can get dehydrated. Yep, yeah. um, they are awesome. And basically, I take I take like four or five of the leaves, depending on the size of them. And um, I, uh, what do you call it? I will roll them up and then chiffonade them, you know, into real small little slivers. And they like to be cooked. So normally when I'm starting an Indian dish, the first thing I start with is my mustard and cumin seeds. And then um, after they start to pop, then I'll add my uh, my curry leaves and my garlic. And there's a spice called asafoetida or hing. I use that. I put that in next. And then um, when that's done um, and, and it's fragrant, what I'll do is I'll start adding um, the, the powders. You don't want to add the powders too soon because like your, like your, um, your, ground coriander or your uh, ground cumin, um, your what else, um, turmeric or your um, lal midge, which is red chili powder. You don't want to add those too soon because they will um, suck up all the oil and they do need to be cooked. Turmeric needs to be cooked to get the raw taste out of it. Um, and then, you know, and then I start adding my onions and um, tomato. If you want to do tomato paste, you can do that. Um, and then just add my vegetables and my dal and cook it all up. And I love to add cauliflower to my dal. It just makes a nice, it's a nice, nice body to it. And you can also add the riced cauliflower. So, um, I do have a video on cooking dal on my channel. So if you're interested, I can take, you know, it takes you through the process. I will be doing more cooking videos. I did put up my spaghetti squash. Everybody wanted to know 
how I made my spaghetti squash casserole. So I put that up. Certainly you can, Susan. Contact me. You know, just let me know if you have any questions. Sanjay is an expert at, at Indian food, obviously, because, you know, he grew up with it. And he's also a very good cook. But, you know, as far as, as, far as simplicity... You know, to take care of your daughter. I mean, you can't go wrong. Uh, doll is D-A-L or D-A-H-L. And it is um, lentils. And hang on one second. I'll sh I will send you a link to it so you can see it. And uh, Masoor doll is my favorite. Here it is. Um, there we go. Here it is. Copy. This is my favorite doll. It's uh, red lentils. And I'm not sure. Now this says... This one is whole. Hang on. Let me go. Let me go back. Ha, ah, this is it. Here we go. That one was whole doll and that takes a long time to cook. This one is split and it cooks in like 20 minutes. It doesn't need a pressure cooker or anything. But one thing that you do want to do, and I'll give you this tip right now, when you are cooking dal or when you're cooking rice, rinse it. Rinse it before you start cooking it because there is a lot of um, starch in the rice and you can um, it doesn't stick as bad. Have I tried Pusawaja Wala Pepper? No, I haven't. Hello, Azure Muse. How are you, sweetheart? Happy New Year. Um, I have not. I'll have to I'll have to check that one out. Um so rinse your doll because there is a coating on it that is like its own natural not pesticide but pest deterrent so it, it tastes bitter so if you can um if you rinse it thoroughly until the water is clear um it will taste much better yeah, there's a lot of different peppers in, in India, so I'll have to look into that one. So I will I will look into that one. Okay, there's one there's one leg. I'm spending all this time. Of course, if if Mama had thought about this thoroughly, I would have come over here this afternoon and cut all this stuff out. So I'm not wasting your time here. But we are talking about food, so that's good. Are you are you talking, uh, um, Spanky? Are you talking about Crocs? Because those are my slippers. <laughs> I wear Crocs as slippers, and they're so comfortable. I forget to put my shoes on, and I, you know, I look down in Walmart, and I, oh God, I'm in my slippers.
But at least I'm not in my pajamas. Regular slippers? Yeah, I was going through them fast too. The the soles would instantly collapse and I that's why I went with the Crocs. They're basically indestructible. I tried the deer forms and all of that and it just didn't work. All right, so now we have We have a bed, and I guess we could have a table right here, I guess. Your do, yours do that all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love my Crocs, right, Linda? They are very comfortable. All right. Oh, things are all over the place here. Do I want to put that? I don't know where I want to put this. I think the only place to put it is right here in front of the window. I think so. So I'll have to stib below. Oh dear Mary. <laughs> Mary's Mary's little one was raising raising hell. <laughs> I think I want to put that one over here. Maybe, let's let's see if we can't find a rug. Let's see if we can't find a rug. No rug in there. Um I do have a catalog of rugs. Let's see if we can find it. Nope, not there. That is lighting. Um, 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 um. Where are is that furniture? Death baby. Let's see. Teen. Um, outdoor, that won't work. That won't work. Oh my god, these things weigh a ton. <sighs> Alright, let's see. I'm looking for my rug catalog. This stuff is heavy. That's outdoors. Oh boy, Sanjay, this is, oh boy, this is a pistol here. Come on. Uh, these things weigh so much. I think this is it. Yep, yeah, it's the bottom. The very last stinking magazine in the pile. Mm. 
All right, sorry about that, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Mary, how are you? Let's see, do they have area rugs? Not real good, I'm so sorry, Mary. Oh my God, Mary, I'm so very sorry. Uh, folks, for those who are watching later, um, please do keep Mary Brewer in your hearts and in your prayers. Her husband has had a massive heart attack and is in ICU. Oh, Mary, sweetheart, I'm so very, very sorry. Um, I will keep you in my heart and in my prayer, sweetheart. Please let us know how he's doing. And if there's anything that I can do for you, just let me know, Mary. I'm so very sorry. We have had such, this has been bad news this week. Kathleen's, uh, Kathleen's husband died on New Year's Day. He lost his battle with cancer. And now your husband's in ICU. I'm so very, very sorry. But yes, please do let us know how he's doing. Post to the flock. And I did see your message to me popping over uh, my, my pop-up notifications. And I will certainly take care of it, Mary. I kind of like that blue rug. We might do that blue rug. Because I can see. Oh, I like that one. That one's interesting. I'm looking for something that's going to show me the edge of the rug. So I can tuck it under the under the um, bed. And that one might work too. Yeah, you might need some creeple cheering up. I'll hurry up and find a rug so we can move along to the creepy part of the show. Because right now I'm just wasting everybody's time looking for a rug. Well, there's a poofy rug. Come on, just give me a simple rug that I can see the edge of and tuck it under the bed. There was one. We, we'll do our best to cheer you up, sweetheart. Well, that's a nice rug. If you'd only show me the edge... I need a picture like that. Going in the right direction. That's close. That's close. I might be able to get away with that. Very pretty rugs, very, very pretty. But you ain't showing me the angle I need. I'm a white boy, I can't cut a rug. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute, squirrel. White boys can't dance. Um, oh, come on now, this is really silly. I guess I'm going back to that blue stripe rug. Much as I don't want to.
much as I don't want to, it gives me the corner. And that's what I need. I need the corner. That was loud. All right. And I'm just gonna whack it off over there. And kind of pretend that this is the edge of the rug. That's why my creeples take so long. I'm a real stickler. For the scene. There we go. Oh look, that even has... I'll have to hide that stupid foot. Because that it's the wrong kind of foot. But... Does have let's see if I can color that in and camouflage it. Let's camouflage that because it's got everything I need. It's got the shadow and everything. That should be camouflaged. I'm hoping, anyway. Oh, crud. Why does that always happen? I'll fix it later. Come on. Go, go, go. Fall in place. Everybody in line. Get back in the box. Thank you. All right. I tried to hide it. I'm going to lose part of the bed. I'll lose part of the bed, so maybe I won't. Let's see. All right. Pain of the next stickler here. I am going to Go draw a line. I'll be back in a second. Over here and use my ruler. Hopefully this is straight. Hopefully. I cut the rug. Uh, I never see what you're saying. All right, let me see. Hang on. Let me scroll back up. Sorry. 
You would really like to see a drag queen sprawled across that bed? I can try that. I can try a drag queen for you. All right, I am just going to darken that darken that leg with something. It's going to drive me insane. All right, come here you. Give me the dark gray. You would like to see a drag queen on the bed. I can try and do you a uh, drag queen. A nice big wig and boa and death defying heels. Oh boy. You're really, you're really ramping it up. We'll see if I can accept your challenge. All right. Like it or not, from a distance you can't see the leg anymore. In the camera you can't see it. It's just in the shadow, which is fine. I can still see it though, but I'm okay with that. Let me glue this down so we can stop wasting time here. That's glued. Now I can glue the rest of it. Okay, get that in the crook there. Okay. Mark seems to think he won't fit, but there's always Photoshop, Mark. <laughs> My last remark got... A stupid cough going? Sorry about that. This crafting squirrel missed... I missed your comment also. I didn't mean to make you have a coughing fit. Okay, I'm backing up. You don't... Mark won't fit on the bed. We'll make you fit. I could do a potato. I could do a Mrs. Potato Head with um, a big wig. And boobies. And what did what did Squirrel say? You can draw a line, Melissa, but don't cross it. Okay. <laughs> now I saw it. Sorry. Okay. We're putting that bed. Oh, that'll be that's gonna be difficult right there in this. All right, well, that's where it's going. It looks kind of crooked though, don't it? Now it's now it looks straight. That is equal, so I'm assuming it's straight. Crooked or not, it's going down. 
because we need we need to move along here. I could rearrange furniture all freaking night long. But this is supposed to be creeples. Not furniture moving 101. All right, there, you're straight up against the wall there. I'm happy. Okay. The bed, she is down. Now, let's see. <laughs> that's right squirrel squirrel says if we if we got mark on the bed and i, I or i did a potato uh, uh, a um a, a drag queen potato that would be a spud not a stud okay mary i won't i won't say that on air she's got to take care of business She's got to see a man about a horse. Whatever the heck that meant. Seriously. All right, that's in the corner. The bed is down. Don't tell me it's crooked because I don't want to hear it. All right, oh, I didn't, I did not clue down the chair. Heavens to Murgatroyd. And I lost I lost my table. Alright, who, who walked off with my table? Uh, I had a lovely little table sitting here. Is it on the floor? Not in the catalog. Not in this catalog. Who walked off with my table? It ain't on the floor. So that means it's got to be on this table here somewhere. Here it is. Look at that. <clears throat> Put, put this chair down here. Glue, thank you. Okay, let's get this down. down because that's sticking up all right there we go <clears throat> the table has been found yes siree the table has been found we'll just kind of put it right right about here <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should find a door or if I should just move on with the creeples what do you think, guys? You think I should put a door in the in the scene? Mm. 
RuPaul in the chair. <laughs> All right, there is our table. Come on, go in the, go in where you belong. Creeples, creeples. Okay, we're moving on. Moving on to creeples. I got a little glue all over my fingers. No door, maybe a picture. I could find a picture. Oh, I know a picture I could find. Hang on a minute. Oh, you're not you're not usually this funny, but when you am, you're you're epic. Yes, you are. You're in a rare form tonight, squirrel. Hang on one second. Oh, crap. Are you going to tell me? Are you going to tell me? I can find a picture. I got lots of pictures. Um, let's see. Um, there we go. That's a picture. That's a picture. Let's see. I am looking at, oh, she's even better. There we go. All right. How big do I want this? I got a picture to put on the wall, boy. I want this to be about four inches tall. Let's drag this in too. Which one was that? That was her. Okay, so let's drag her into photo choppy. And I'll switch to Oh, Mark sent me some inspirational pictures. All right, let me see if I should use those instead. Let's see. Oh, stop showing me this thing. <laughs> oh my God, they're epic. Let me switch to the other screen. Hang on. Check that out, guys. That's Mark. How epic is that? I love it. There you go. Wow, look at that. Oh, I like those, Mark. I could print that out and put it on the wall. I could print that on the wall. Let's see. Copy. All right, now I'm going, this was the one I was going to put on the wall. But I could do this one, file new. Paste. Is that cheese hair or are you, is that a cheese chair you're leaning on? What was that? Oh, it looks like a wedge of cheese. <laughs> Do 
The days of youth, now you're just an old couch potato queen. Oh, God, what an image I just got in my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> a potato with a crown sitting on a couch eating potato chips. <laughs> What happened to Mary? You just barely... Ma oh, you're laughing so hard. Oh, God. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cannibalism? <laughs> so um, let's put these side by side here. And let's see what you can see on the screen here. Hang on. Oh, you can only see one at a time. Okay. Um, so, am I going with Eternity Bliss because I'm eternal and when you're with me, you're in Heavenly Bliss. Okay, Mark. Oh, if these things don't stop. So am I going with Mark's picture on the wall or am I going with the, the gal that you can see on the screen? Yeah, you could be yeah, eating chips on the bed and <laughs> Spud's pick. Okay, that's what we're going with then. I will close this. And I hopefully you can see this now. Let's see. There. Let's see. Let me check. Yes, now you can see this. Okay. So I want this to be about four inches tall. And I need to... Cut and paste his face over hers. <gasps> that would be epic. That would be epic. Hang on a second. What happened? Undo. Uh, un undo. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. There. All right. Hang on a second. His face is going at the wrong angle but I might be able to do it um, I think I can do it I think I think I think hang on give Mark a crown and put him on the wall <laughs> Okay, let me let me catch up here. Could be eating chip. No, okay, I read that. Spud's pick. Okay, cut and paste his face over hers. I can do that. Mary wants the wig. Give Mark a crown and put him on the wall. Where is the creeple? I'm working on the creeple. I'm working on it. I'm doing a bedroom scene. So I'm going to put something in this chair. Now, who is that? And I'm going to put somebody on the bed and I was going to put a picture on the wall. And I'm going to make the picture a creeple because I'm going to take Mark's face and paste it over the babe. So this will take me a wee bit of time. Ah, that's all right hang on this is going to take me a while I don't have enough desk space here I have stuff in my way there now I have a wee bit more room 
Okay. All right, so let's see how fast I can do this. You need to make mark you You need to make Mark's picture smaller. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And put a potato. Wait a minute. <laughs> put a potato in a framed picture on the wall with the crown. All right, that's another creeple. Um, all right, I'm getting confused, people. Uh, all right, we're going in a whole different direction here. I can put Mark's face on a potato and have the potatoes sitting here in the sitting on the bed. And I can get a crown. So I'll do that. But first I'm going to cut out his face. Um I'm just doing a very, really bad job. Really bad job here. There. Okay. Select, modify, feather. Two, yes, that would work. And now we are copying. And we're moving her back here and we're doing pasty pasty. Yeah, okay, later. Um, all right, let's zoom in a wee bit. That might have been a wee bit too much. Don't want to lose the bow. Oh, come on. All right, we don't want, don't want to lose the bow. And are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Okay, you're seeing me. Okay. That way you're not just, you know, floating around wondering, what is she doing? Is she gone? Okay. Now mirror your picture and flip it. Okay, hang on now. All right, now I have to do some blendy blendy. No, that's not working. I need to blend this section. Let's see. You should be able to make my pick, my pick and flip it. So I'm looking. Yeah, I don't, but I don't really need to, do I? I mean, I can certainly do that. That's, that's, that's real easy to do. No, that's the wrong layer. That is 
ridiculously easy. There we go. Rotate, uh, flip horizontal. There we go. But now you're now the neck is off. And I know that there is a way to blend the neck. So I'm going to let me play around here. Let me play around a wee bit. Free transform. There we go. And layer you want me to enlarge it more I can do that trying not to lose the bow all right now I have to deal with the neck the neck needs to be dealt with. Okay, blending options. Let's see, I only want to work on the selection. want to work on the selection when it's not letting me do that now that you've been beheaded yeah I know that there is a way to use to, to blend these and I'm just I'm having a hard time let me try a filter let's try Let's try a smart, no, there we go, let's see if we can't work on that a wee bit more. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm looking for is uh is a basically a blend. Or and I don't I'm not seeing a fade here. I used to do this all day long, so a push tool. What's a push tool? Now you're losing me. Blur tool. I mean, I can blur it. Oh, yeah, this is this is Photoshop. Background No, that didn't work. Yeah, I don't I don't have paint shop pro. Clone stamp. What's this?
Hmm. Burn tool. I can use that. Let's get rid of this. It's a brush tool in Photoshop. Let me undo. A brush tool, huh? Here's history brush. No. I don't I, I'm I don't want to lighten it too much right now because it's a very blurry image. Um so I wanna I'm gonna wait for a second here. Content aware, no, red eye brush tool. Okay, what kind of brush tools do we have? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually played with it. There used to be a, a blending, a way to blend. So I could, I could, you know, do a, a marquee around a selection. You know, around this and this. And just say blend. And they have changed things so much. that it's impossible to find these tools now. I used to know Photoshop really, really well. Like the last version that they had was that you could actually install on your computer yeah, I, oh, I could get him a feather boa. We were going to get him a feather boa, right? That's a good idea. That's an easy that's an easy thing to do. Now, at this at this point, I'm just I'm going to I'm going to find a boa and see if that will fix things. All right, let's Can you cut a piece of the painting on deck at deck? What's can you cut a piece of paint a piece of painting on deck and paste? Mark says, oh wait, okay. Mark says, wait, okay, I'm a waiting. Yeah, I, I the last the last version that I was really fluent with was uh, Creative Suite 6. And after that, they went into put my layer under the girl and erase her face to show mine behind. That could be done. That can be done. Okay, where is the eraser? And uh, like I said, I... Once they went to Creative Suite subscription online only, I had, they changed things. All right, so let's see what happens when I start erasing this. Give me the eraser. And I want it, I want it to be
let's let's start with this and let's make it bigger and see what happens why is nothing happening um oh <laughs> okay never mind okay here we go all right here we go and i'm doing this i'm not doing the opacity really um harsh right now because i, I want to do it slowly and see what happens and i think i can make the brush larger otherwise we're going to be here all night all right so there you go there is the the bandana of the hair Okay, I'm going to undo that last bit there. And now I'm going to move Mark's face a wee bit. You're moving the wrong thing. I said move, move this. There we go. there all right now we can go back to this and try and soften that up i'm gonna there there okay i am going to go around the face again right here like this Okay, now I can see Mark's face. <clears throat> and I can move it into position. There. Okay. Now go back to eraser. That's one more layer here. We're almost there. One more should do it. Okay. Oh my God, it's magic, isn't it? It is absolute magic. Now I think I wanna just ch change the size of his head just a wee bit.
There. There we go. I'm happy with that. I think it works. I might want to just fix that little ever so gently fix the jawline. See, my problem is I'm a perfectionist. There. And let's do one more cleanup of the face. There we go. I think it works. I do, I do, I do. All right, let me zoom out a wee bit. There. There you go, Mark. <laughs> uh, image size. I want it to be four inches. And now I'm going to say file, print. Okay. Come on, printer. Gimme. Okay, let me switch to the overhead. Okay, now we need we need a frame around this. And I just happen to have a gold metallic marker. Let's see if it'll cover. <clears throat> Let's see. Just going to be a plain border, nothing ornate. Sorry. Just a plain, yeah, I mean, if I, if I were to spend about a day getting back into this, I, I used to be, I used to do this for the entire campus. I would Photoshop pictures. I would take people out that have been fired. I would add in people that have been hired. Uh, I did these, you know, for like group pictures and everything. I used to do this all day long. I did graphics for all the websites. I really, I really did a lot of work in Photoshop. But once I decided I was, I was leaving the job and retiring, I didn't. I just shut down. I just stopped doing everything. Didn't want to do it anymore. All right, there's a wee bit of a frame. There is a wee bit of a frame. Nothing fancy, nothing elaborate. We need squizzers. Photoshop is a is a fantastic program. Um, it, it, there's a learning curve to it, and unfortunately, it's expensive. Okay. 
But if I wanted to spend an hour or so, um, you know, I could have done a much, much better job. This is a real hack job. I would have, you know, blended the skin and everything. I would have made everything match. But, oh well. Such is life. You used to do the textures and the... Th See, now, that's one thing I can't do. I cannot do 3D. It just escapes me. I have a very hard time trying to understand 3D. I can't wrap my head around it. I tried so many times. It's a wee bit of white showing here. I'm just trying to cover it up. All right. There we go. There's there's the creeple painting on the wall. Mark is now a creeple. Oh, come on. Of course, this is crappy copy paper, so it's going to wrinkle. But that's okay. All right. Okay, and once that dries, I'll add more gold around it. Want to understand 3D in a flash, Melissa? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I have I have a real real hard time with 3D. It makes my brain hurt. Uh, do I have any gold washi tape? Real thin washi tape. That would make a nice frame. Don't think I've got any. Need like eighth inch. Why are there stamps in here? Um, yeah, I don't have any real thin washi tape. Oh well. Do not try to bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth that there is no spoon. Okay. <laughs> then you will see it's not the spoon that bends. It's only yourself. Okay. Gee, thanks, squirrel. Yep. I'm ending that squirrel's life upstairs. <laughs> now I'm sure. Oh, I do have that. I could make... I could cut that in thin strips and put that on the frame. Okay, all right. So we have we have our setting. Whoa, Matthias knows Chuck Fu. If you're referring, yeah. Guys, I know Kung Fu. All right, so now we need to find... A bodacious babe that we can sp spread out on the bed. And I instantly thought of these awesome pictures that Sherry sent. Now she's got to be small enough to fit on the bed. And we need the whole body. He's allergic to nuts. <laughs> oh man, isn't she glorious? She looks like one of the flapper girls. Wow. She is awesome. Oh, come on now. Show me. Show me. A 
full a full human. I need a full human. Oh boy, there you go. I love these gals. Oh, she'd be good. But I need a whole body. And so far, I know find a whole body. There's some lips. Oh, if she was only a, a full-sized human, she would be perfect. I love that face. Kitty! Scan and resize. The problem is I need a whole body. I need a whole body. Oh, there you go. If only. If only she had legs. Drape a blanket over the rest. Yeah, that I could do. She is the wrong. All right, so, all right, we can, if we can find half a body. Oh, wow. They're, oh, my. Can we get her? She's too big, damn it. She's too big. Yeah, I could creeple legs, that's true. I need to find the right the right size to fit on the bed. She is too big. Yeah, I can I can always find legs or I can put a blanket over them. That's that's fine. She could be kind of like leaning up against one of the pillows. And then I could find a blanket to drape over her. Or I could um yeah, how would I find legs? I don't want to just stick legs there. We need to move on to a fashion magazine and see about some legs. Um, all right, folks are sending me stuff here and I don't know what I'm If you, if you cut out the opening under her arm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm going to do that. I got people that are popping me all sorts. Of, I don't know what you're doing here. What is this? A drag. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dear. Drag queen on bed. I do like this gal's hairdo, though. Um. Hmm.
Let's say, let's say. She's in black and white, so that that's going to be a problem. Let's see if we could find one in color in that position. That's good. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit leery on on showing you this this any any further. I don't want to scroll down because I'm afraid that something um something rude may show up. Yeah, there's yeah. Mhm. Mm hmm. I have to show you this. Look at this one. <laughs> I love that face. That is cool. <laughs> All right, let's, I'm going to, I'm just afraid of what's going to show up here. So uh, I don't want to show too much. Kind of like the black and white kind, you know, you, you the black and white kind adds to the creeple because they're in a colorful background i could use the the black and um all right let's see that that one would actually work that one would actually work You didn't say anything. I, I'm just afraid. You know, I don't want to take the chance. All right. So now I have to figure out how that that angle is a little bit off. So I am going to have to measure from like here up. So that would need to be about three inches. No. About two and a half. All right, hang on. Copy image. Let me go back to the Photoshop A. And now, um, where is the ruler? From here to here needs to be about two and a half inches. Okay. I would like to view the side ruler too, please. All right. Yeah, her pose is great, and I it the outline doesn't look that bad to cut out. So if that's going to be two and a half, how much more is this going to be? Let's say it'd be one and a quarter. So like three and three quarter. I want this image to be about four and a half inches high. Four and a half. File print. Okay, let me go get her.
it is a blurry image, but hopefully it won't look too bad. What's the matter, Susan? You said, oh my God. Oh, now what? I don't know what that is. Okay, let me go back to this. And I will cut her out. She's kind of blurry. That pose, isn't that pose great? You sent me one? All right, I'll, I'll stop and I'll go look at it. I don't use Pinterest because the image is a crap and it's mostly spam. Now what? Yeah, see, that image is way too small, Mary, so I can't use that. And it's 99% it's of Pinterest is clickbait. So I don't, I don't even go to, go to, um, I don't even go to Pinterest anymore. Um, the, the leopard sheets are going bye-bye. Because I, I have no way of making them lay on the bed. So. I do have my pit pens, so I could, you know, add a wee bit of color here and there, but. And the one thing about drag queens is their hair is usually pretty well cemented in place. So I don't have all these wispies I got to cut out. This image is very blurry. That is a shame. All right, I'll cut out the rest of that in a minute. Welcome back, Debbie. Back from taxi duty. All right, now I got to get in here and clean this up a wee bit. I am hearing things that sound like mice. I'm not liking that sound. Well, there she is. She's blurry. I'm not really happy with it. But... Um, yeah, 
not all that happy with it. But we'll go with it. See how blurry it is? Actually, it looks good in the it looks good in the camera, but to my eyes it looks blurry. But we'll go with it. And I lost my pin. How did I lose my pin? Oopsie. I have done it again, people. I have lost my pin. <clears throat> Found it. You like it. Hello there, Mary Kay Lyons McDonald. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Spray some pine sol. I actually, I have citrusol. I could spray that. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. I got a squirrel in my in my attic up here. Haven't heard him, but wonder if I sprayed some citrus salt in there, whether or not he'd go away. All right. Let's lay him. Kind of like that little divot in the pillow there. There we go. No, I'm going to move her down. There. All right. There we go. All right. There she is. In all her glory. Not really a creeple. They don't like strong smells. All right. Then I, I'll, I have some citrusol. I will pour a few drops in that back cupboard where I'm hearing noise because I got I got a fabric collection that took 30 years to build and I'll not have critters destroying it on me all right so there is that now we have to find another gal to put in our chair and maybe maybe we can use one of these gorgeous hair models in the chair. Let's see if we can find somebody that is. Oh boy, if she were smaller, we could put her in there. You could put a dog. Yeah, I'm not feeling a dog. Oh, if he was full figure. He's just delicious. Oh, God, I love her. She's gorgeous. <clears throat> I don't think any of these are going to fit. <clears throat> Add a kitten. <laughs> Since I might be getting one. All right. She is. She is too. Too tiny. She's too big. That hair would be too much to cut out. Let's see. Yeah, we need somebody delicious to be sitting in the chair. She's too big. Her, her with a body. Flipped around the other way. Delicious as Sam Elliott. Yeah. All right, I don't think these girls are going to work. These are more like 
focal focal images. Va 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 voom. Yeah. Oh, did she fit? No, she won't fit. All right. We've gone through these. We'll find somebody else. Let's see who we can find. Lord knows I've got lots of lots of girls to pick from. Let's see. Those are props. We might use those. Now, I did thin down this magazine quite a bit, didn't I? I tore a lot of stuff out of it. So it should be, I tore out pages I did not want. She's too big. And only left the pages that I did want. So maybe we'll find something in here. Um... Oh, he could be standing somewhere. He could be standing somewhere. He could be standing on the side of the bed. Maybe. All right, let's see. I need somebody sitting. Uh, okay, I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, uh, really? Okay. Um, no. No. No, I don't think that one. You've been working on redoing a silk-covered photo album while watching and listening? Man, yes, yeah, silk is hard to paint. Okay, let's see. She is going in the wrong direction, so she's out. It does suck up paint, yes. Um, um, come on. You got it done, that's good. That is awesome, you should post a photo. So we can see the pretty. Oh, would she fit? She's missing body parts now. Oh, if she was just reversed. We do have it. We do have a drag queen on the bed. I'm not all that thrilled with the quality, but it's okay. And I am looking for somebody sitting to fit in the chair. Or even a good head. I just need to find somebody that is sitting that I can put here. And then I can always change the head. And the body parts. I like her.
Yeah, see, she she would have looked good on the bed. She's a little bit big, but. Cut the legs from another body. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I, I just have to find somebody that's in the right in the right position. And then I'll start cutting. Um, I tend to get kind of finicky. With my creeples, I like them to fit together. I like the parts to fit together right. I love this one. She is a hoot. He's good. It'd be good. All right, nobody's nobody is sitting. I need a body that is sitting. Grabbing another magazine. Fashion. Give me fashion. October Vogue. December. Let's see. We need like a summer, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay. Maybe Vanity Fair. <laughs> I use Julia. <laughs> Fragonard, that's a strange name. Look at that, Fragonard. Okay, let's find somebody sitting. Um, and I'll tear out pages I don't want. Don't want her. Try to try to reduce the number of amount of crap I have. Come on, I need somebody sitting down. Not her. Because she be naked and that won't that won't fly. Um she would kinda cover the whole chair. She's cool, but she'd be covering the whole chair. Wrong direction, too small. Would she fit? Would this body fit in the chair? No. It is unfortunate. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there, oh, there, oh. This has to go in here somehow. Because we have a drag queen on the on the bed. We need a body sitting, and I need to put that on the body. Yeah. Because, you know, drag queen on the bed. Drag queen on the bed means drag sheep in the chair. Just give me a body sitting in a chair. Please, I really don't care. 
Ooh, sparkles. There's, there's some shoes for you. Or a shoe, anyway. Not sitting. Really, there's nothing left to do with this page. Why is it still here? Get rid of it. Come on now. Why is this in here? Come on, give me somebody sitting down. Oh, no sitting. No sitting. No sitting. No sitting. Nobody is sitting. Hmm. You're at the wrong angle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Would that work? That would work. Oh, damn it. She's got a foot missing. I'll have to add a foot. Let's see. Oh, good night, Mary. Thanks for being here, sweetheart. And she's in black and white, so she kind of goes with the gal on the bed. Okay, come on now. And I really don't care about the head because uh, sheep head. So let's just, you know, cut that off and not, not worry ourselves about it. I will have to find a, oh, I know what I need for the missing, for the missing foot. I need a sheep foot, a sheep leg. That's what I need. You have a large foot. All right, I need to find a sheep leg. That's what I need. with the noise. Okay. There we go. All right. 
Let's see. Yep, she fits. All right. So I have to cut out the purse. And the arm to fit on the other side of the chair. Oh, we, well, let's see. Yeah, okay. We do need a little sheep foot down here. That yeah, put sheep feet on her. I gotta find. I gotta find. I could. Um, I can get rid of that foot too. So let me go into Google real quick and look for look for sheep legs. They need to be going that. And we need yeah, large. Um, okay, this would work. Okay. Going back into Photoshopy. All right, basically I need these legs. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's see if I can quickly go around these here legs. I got a problem here with some grass. That's going to be an issue. I need to blow it up. Okay, Mr. Magic Wand. Nope. Can I select by color? Yeah, but that's going to be a too much of a pain in the neck. That ain't working. All right. Why is this? I need my mouse on something smooth so it moves nicely. That's not working all that well, is it? All right, I give up on this one. Let's find I need sheep feet. These would no, why not?
Um, they would work. Let's try that. <clears throat> I'm trying to quickly um, figure out how, how long I need. How long do I need these legs to be? Uh, only one of them is really going to show. But about two inches long. File, print, there we go. I'm printing out some legs. Good night, Mary. Thank you for being here, Mary Kay. Um, and then I think we're gonna we gotta wrap this up because I'm getting tired. Oh. some sheep feet. Let's hope I can get rid of the green. These are facing the wrong direction, but, oh well. So that'll go there, and this one's going to get cut off from the bottom of the page, so it doesn't really matter. You can just stick it like that. Oh, I have to cut this out anyway. Come on. All right, that's cut. Let's get rid of the leg. All right. And I got to cut around, I have to cut around the purse. Okay, and there's that. So there's one leg and there's the other. Okay, let me make sure you guys can actually see what the heck, yes, you can see what I'm doing. 
All right, now we got to cut this baby out. Can we say bad? <laughs> All right. Oh, she doesn't fit. I'm going to lose an ear. What do you think? I think she's awesome. But I'm going to lose an ear. All right, you're there. And I have to cut around. of this needs to get the rest of that needs to be trimmed pencil I think I got this. Let's see. Good night, squirrel. All right. All right, I gotta trim a wee bit more. I gotta trim a wee bit more. That works. But this has to go like that. And that has to go like that. All right. Okay. 
girl in the painting should be holding an adult beverage. I have adult beverages. All right, let's see if she fits now. Why is that? All right. Come on, stop. There. Okay. She is in the chair. See how I did that? Let me pick her up and I'll show you. This is this is why my creeples take so long. Because I put them in the chair. And I wish I hadn't glued that chair down yet. Because I hate that I'm going to lose. Oh, there we go. Now I won't lose an ear. How's that look? There we go. Okay. I will tilt the head in a strange fashion. And it will make me happy. Okay. So let's glue these feet on. Like so. That leg is on. And let's get her situated in the chair. Don't whoops, don't need much of a leg here because it's gonna get cut off. They are professional crippled. <laughs> crippled or creepled? All right, so she is right where I want her. There. All right. Purse is down. Her arms are down. Now let's see. Let's do let's do the legs. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. She is glued down. And I, I hate to lose, I hate to lose an, uh, creeple purple people eaters. <laughs> I really want her head like that. So I'm going to quickly go scan this so I don't lose it. Because it is too awesome to lose. Quickly scan. <laughs> Hurry up, scan for me. Perfect all. Okay, let me go get it back off the printer and we're good to go. want her like that so that's the way how is dad doing yeah T how is your dad doing or is that isn't tomorrow is tomorrow the day or thought I remembered oh Cheryl thank you sweetheart cardiology tomorrow but he's doing good oh I'm glad to hear that I'm glad he's doing good we've had enough bad news okay oh thank you Cindy I appreciate it thank you so very much all right, there we go. Okay. And I will trim up the edges later. And I'm still contemplating whether or not this guy needs to be standing there somewhere. Not really sure. But I think this was fun. Um, not sure. Like someone said an adult beverage in here. So I might try and find a little glass like a martini or something and put that there. Um, and I might put an adult beverage on this table here. And of course I will be stabiloing around everybody to make them fit in better um, and I can show this to you on the next show 
but I'll give you a quick close-up, hopefully without all the glare on it. There he is. And there's Mr. Potato. And there is our sheep. So that was lots and lots and lots of fun. A cat or a dog on the carpet. That would be aw that would be awesome. Or maybe some sheep. I'll have to think about that. Um, some kind of critters on the rug, definitely. Maybe a bear. <laughs> Who knows, right? Um, but it was fun. It was a fun show. And I thank, I thank Cheryl ever so much for the um, for the super chat. That was very sweet. Thank you, hun. Alrighty, and it, this was the one we did last week. We put bodies to um, we put bodies to all of the the flower girls. So that one was fun too. But we'll work on this one a wee bit more off camera, and uh, we'll show you the finished results. So if you're new to my channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, and please give the video a thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below for me. Thank you so much. Um, and if you're interested in looking for 400 plus new friends, um, we're having lots of, front, lots of fun over on the flock. Um, so come on over there on Facebook and join the flock. And it, just a reminder, today is the third you have until around midnight on the 5th to sign up for the friendship swap. So head on over to the flock. It's the pinned post at the top. And um, you'll find the, the, the link to the form there so you can have fun with the swap. It's going to be lots and lots and lots of fun. All right, we just finished our, I just finished my uh, flock journal for this year. So... On that note, I think I am going to get out of here for the evening and uh, get Rosie home and head, about, head back on over to the house. So I want to thank you all for hanging out with me tonight, guys. I love you all so very, very much. Please remember to keep Kathleen Elliott in your heart and in your prayers. Her husband died on New Year's Day. Um, he lost his battle with cancer. And also Mary Brewer, please keep her in your hearts and prayers because her husband had a massive heart attack and is in ICU. Um, congratulate Kiki. If you see Kiki over there on Facebook, um, she celebrated today was her last chemo day. She's going to be starting radiation soon. So keep her in your hearts and prayers. And um, anybody else that's been, you know, not feeling well or, uh, has been having issues with their families. Just keep everybody in your heart and your prayers. And I will see you all very, very soon. There probably will not be a show on Sunday. I think that I'm going to end the Sunday stream because it just takes so much energy out of me. Um, and I'm really trying to get production videos out. So um, I'll probably see you all on Tuesday, uh, right here at seven o'clock, same time, same channel. All right, guys, I love you all very, very much. You all have a fantastic evening, and you have a great Friday. And don't forget Cranky Crafters tomorrow at 8 o'clock on the Cranky Crafters channel. Okay, um, Nightbot just posted the link, so you can hop on over there and catch that. All right, so we will see you very, very soon. Love you all. You have a great night. Goodbye.